Hey everybody, this is Assassin Glosco. We're back with Colot. Last time we discovered that maybe the anomaly is not such a supernatural being. Well, more so that maybe the anomaly used to be human and got kidnapped and tortured in all sorts of ways. He tried to kill me as I ran through the bunker. That wasn't fun. I, I really did not need his hug. But I escaped. We're good. We're gonna head down here. Let me see. We're gonna go for 66 north, 72 east. Let me see. I believe we need to make our way to that bridge. I think that's a bridge. So I'm right here. I'm around here. So I think I need to go just straight and then turn right after that point. And then we'll see. Oh, that was strange. Oh, 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 it's a campsite. Oh my god. I thought they were footsteps. Yeah, the creature monster thing, his footsteps. No, I don't need that. Eat. What? Oh, oh no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, the creature's footsteps glow when you get close. So for a second, I thought that there were going to be bad things. At least I know where I am now, though. That's good. I think the music cut because of the campsite, actually. Ooh. Alright. We have... We're here. Yeah, definitely want to go past that. Okay. Don't fall. Don't fall, please. Cool. Thanks for listening to me. I really, really don't want to break my legs or anything. I kind of need them to run. Hmm. I think we're at this tree. I'll just keep going until a path diverges. That should be cool. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, this, this seems reasonable. Let's, uh, let's take right. See if we hit anything. Oh, am I gonna see more coordinates? No? I don't know what that thing in the distance is, to be honest. That yellow glowing thing. I don't think we need to investigate it. I hope. Would be, uh, quite terrible to investigate that. Oh! Oh god, no! Where the fuck is that door closing sound coming from? And why? And holy shit, was that really dumb that I uh, I was being really stupid and didn't watch my balance. My bad. Over the log. Okay, we're here. Let's uh, not be an idiot and, and kill ourselves this time. I'm almost there. I did it. I did it. I didn't die. All right, where are we? I think we're we cross. I think we're here, maybe. Right. Right, left, right. We gotta find a tree to go under. Wait, I hear a note. Where is that? Where are you, you little tiny sneaky note? Where are you? Here you are! Caution! A psychopath on the loose. A dangerous criminal has escaped from the Moscow Mental Institute. We have been informed the man is completely insane and delusional. Oh, I'm gonna turn around. Don't kill me! Don't kill me? We cool? We look. Are we chill? Like the snow around here? Alright, cool. Where are we? Oh! Okay, we're not too far. I'll just continue and then head left. Wait, is that gonna be an enemy? It's the crazy psychopath on the loose. And why is that article there anyways? Great. Another camp! Oh. Oh, let's not kill ourselves. Let's 
We're gonna slowly make our way to the campsite. Yes. Yes. Oh, didn't break my bones. We did it. Let me just get into the safety of this. Awesome. I feel safe already. It's so comforting. Oh, we're right here, literally. Okay, I'll take a right. I'll continue forward and take a right. And then take a left and do the little loop de loops here. We gotta get to this part. Then we have to take a left at the next branch point, which I think is this. So I'm gonna go up here. Oh, fantastic! It heads into this area. Wait. Oh god, it's being lit. What? What is happening with the sky? Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that a tornado? What? What? What's happening? Guys, everything's turning red. I don't like it. Maybe this is a bad area. Maybe I shouldn't head here. That looks like yellow smoke. Oh shit, it blocked my path. I have to go this way. Why? Why? What's with the calming music? I like the music, but I don't like this. Uh. Um. There's a note. Why is there a tornado? Is this a sacrifice? Hello. I'm just gonna read this note. I am an empty wreck. Made in his image. Not alike. A servant. Obedient to one master. My body is a shell. And I am ready to absorb him. Now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The creator summons me. And I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and um... taste the bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord. Free them and take me instead. Fulfill your revenge at the hour of my death. An army of angels comes out from the orange light. Their song is made of one powerful voice. I feel their presence. Twisted faces, their black eyes drilling into my consciousness. They demand to finish the work. Oh, his presence is overcoming me. So poor and defenseless. What have they done to you? What harm? There is a place. You were there, and so was I. A, a huge gate. Hidden behind it. Only those few who touched him could understand. But you could. You understood. And I understood through you. I would like to point out that we have a heavenly choir singing in the background. So I think I have to run from the orange light. Gonna turn. What the fuck do I do? Yeah, I'm kind of oh no it's dissipating did you want to show me that for why why now I'm even more confused as a story now we have human sacrifice and and gods and the orange light I'm really I'm really confused where are we though what do we get wait what is this 54 north 61 Oh, wait, I thought we got that. Did we not get that? Oh, okay. I, I thought we already got it. Okay, 66 north, 72 east. I have to head back down and head the other way. Let's do this. I, I don't quite understand where the story is going. Maybe I need to take some time and reread all the logs and stuff. I think there's been some experimentation 
and that was something and maybe like old tribes or native people were worshipping some supernatural entity and that's what the Russians are trying to do and that's what the hikers encountered but I am quite confused I hear another note too I think it's over there Ooh. These notes are pretty close together. It's a little surprising. Hello. Dr. Gregor and Tunnel's testimony on Anomaly OH91. We have never seen such a thing. The activity was off the scale. Energy readings, it was just beyond any reason. I remember Dr. Pietnik said he had heard singing. We saw angels appearing from the light. It was clear to us that it was dangerous to stay too close to the anomaly for too long. But we had to conduct more tests. Therefore, we decided to use the prisoners. That is why we created Section 22. Oh, so maybe the guy that was being experimented on was a prisoner. Interesting. Where did I get that note? Oh, I am right there. Actually, let's head along this path. Okay, I think I'm sort of starting to get the the pieces. I'm starting to piece it together. It's still kind of a difficult story to piece together though, and I still don't know what's happening with the, well, with the hikers. I'm hearing a creaking. Hmm, footsteps that aren't my own, I feel. What is that creaking sound? You guys hear that? It sounds like wood. Oh. Why is it so dark here? Oh. Ooh. This is dark. This is dark and I don't like it. I think I need to take a left. Um, why is it so dark? Um... Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh! What just happened? I did not like that. I did not like that one bit. I don't know why it started getting really dark in that forest. It should not have been getting dark, but it was. That is, uh, terrifying. Was that a graphical glitch? Because if it was, I'm gonna be really sad. This game has glitches sometimes. I know that for sure. But the more I head into this, uh, the more I don't think that it's a, graphi a, a graphical glitch. Oh boy. Okay, how, how am I gonna run away from this thing? Maybe I need to take a loop. Maybe you gotta go left. Let's, let's do that next time. All right. I'm gonna use the flashlight. And, uh. Left, right? Left. 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 Bye bye! I'm heading this way. Oh. Wait. Ah! No! 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Okay. Okay. I think... I think I have to head... I have to head on the ridge? How do I get past this guy? Oh, he patrols. Mother... This fucker! Shit, I'm stuck. Oh shit, he is- he sees me, and I need to go. I heard that the flash is, uh, him respawning. So how- let me get past him. Oh, he's right there. I see him. He's just like chasing me up this damn mountain.
You gonna, you gonna go away? Nope, nope. I don't know how I'm gonna get past him. Uh, do I seriously have to just chase him up this entire mountain? I guess I'm not... He's not despawning. I, I thought he was gonna despawn, but he, he isn't. He's just trying to... He's just trying to mess with me. What a jerk. Perhaps I'm not supposed to go that way. Maybe that's why he, he's not letting me go down the path I want to go down. I do hear wood creaking, so maybe I need to go this way. Is it really forcing me onto a linear path with this? I'm gonna be very sad if it is. Okay. Let's try to make our way around. We'll have to go down and then take a left. Okay. That was horrifying when he appeared in front of me, though. I know those those glowing guys are supposed to be super help, helpful, but... He wasn't helpful standing in, in front of wherever he was. Why am I heading into the forest of death? Why are we doing this? I must want to kill myself. Uh, I'm gonna use the flashlight. This is a bit horrifying. I don't like- I don't like this one bit. Okay. I think we gotta... Head this way? No. Oh, shit. Where? Where did you appear? Oh, no, no, no. Please leave me alone. I heard you. Oh, man. Please. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Oh, oh, there it is. I see it. Shit, I'm trying to hide as best as I can. Is there like two? Oh, it sees me. Oh, it sees me. It sees me. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to make a run for it. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Oh. Leave me alone! Please! Are you- are you done? I have to I have to encounter him! Wait, I hear a note. Where- where are you? Where are you? Sneaky bastard. You're this way. Here you are. Okay, let's read it. We slept in something you could call a hotel. Two persons per bed. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast, packed our things, and at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. We cooked and ate dinner, and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps. The rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally, my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical, dark forest. Lady, you have strange taste. This is not a beautiful forest. It's magical and dark, but definitely not beautiful. I just like to point that out. Oh fuck. Fuck, I have to go back. Fuck. Fuck. I think if I go this way it's gonna be a dead end. But I don't wanna go this way. 
But if I go that way, it's gonna- I'm gonna die! Yeah, we're, we're, we're cool, right? Oh! Oh! I... Where am I, actually? I think I looped around. Oh, I... I did. Hmm. I think I know how to escape that guy, though, so... I'm gonna try to make a run around him. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all have a great day, or great night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later!